can still rent and cannot gain some regions there. And then we had, um, we rented, no, they, they, they weren't taking money from us actually. It was a church on St. Mary at uh, St. Anne's, just at that intersection. We are using for Wednesday Bible studies and Saturday prayers and Friday midnight prayers and crossover and everything. And after one of the, uh, I guess that was a crossover. One of my brothers here, we respect him, I won't mention his name. He came to me, he said, Pastor, many of you don't know what pastors are looking at. <laughs> Hallelujah. No, 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 you don't know what pastors are looking at. Hallelujah. I said, God calls you. He says, Pastor, don't worry about this church. Don't worry about this church. Jesus said, I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. He said, don't, he said, this church will be built by Jesus himself. Don't stress out. Don't worry. Don't, don't just, just serve him the, the much you can do. Just leave the rest for me. That word was like cold water <coughs> poured on my spirit. That was 2009. It's, it's 10 years now. I have never forgotten that word. May we speak such words to people around us who are doubting themselves, who are in pain, who are going through challenges in career, in their, in their marriages, in their offices, in their ministry. May God make you a mouthpiece of peace. Amen. A mouthpiece of restoration. Amen. A mouthpiece of of beauty Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Jesus says, your brother will rise again. He says, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know my brother will rise again at the last day uh, in, in the resurrection on the last day, right? In the resurrection on the last day. I know. When, whenever you come to God's presence, be still. Whenever, whenever you come to the presence, one thing she didn't know, I admit her because, you know, um, they were operating at the level which they were operating then. One thing she didn't know was that the one standing before him was God Almighty. Amen? Amen. Who could do all things. And who still is doing all things. Whenever you come to his presence, whenever you come to the church like this, focus on him. And be still. The Bible says, God says, be still and know that I am God. So she, she quoted the Bible she learned from the Sunday school, I know. And one thing she did not know was that the one standing before her was the resurrection himself. And I have come to announce to you, church, that the same one is here today. Amen. That Jesus Christ is here today. Amen. 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 And he says, I am. I am. I am. That alone is the name of God. When God appeared before Moses in the wilderness, when God appeared in the wilderness and Moses, I told Moses, go and bring my people out from Egypt. Moses said, who would I tell them sent me? He said, when you get there, say, I am who I am. Jesus says, I am. Last Sunday, I told us that Jesus Christ is the word of God, right? Okay? And last Sunday again, I said, that Jesus Christ is also love. For the Bible says that God is love. love. And I also said that wherever you see Jesus, you have seen love. And right here, standing before Martha, is love himself. Amen? Amen. Church, are we ready yes, sir. for a little bit of Bible study? Yes, sir. Okay. So, I am means love. If I am is the name of God in his, that I 
Abraham is love. Whatever you want God to be, so he is. I am your healer. I love you. That is why I am your healer. I am your restorer. I love you. That is why I am your restorer. I am your helper. I love you. That is why I am your helper. So everything that Jesus does is because he is love. Do you believe that? Yes, sir. Do we believe that? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, we go to the next one, to the next name. He says, I am the resurrection. I am the resurrection. Now, for this one minute or two, let's focus on the resurrection. Okay? That is another name of Jesus, the resurrection. I am the name, which is love. Number two, the resurrection is his name. Do you remember the scripture where <coughs> Apostle Paul says, I want to know him. And the power of his resurrection. Philippians, thank you. Philippians 3 says, I want to know him and the power of his resurrection. I want to know him, and I want to know the power behind his resurrection. Remember, my brother, that his name is the resurrection. Okay? Now, Apostle Peter, Apostle Paul, wanted to know the power behind the resurrection. But right here, Jesus is saying to Martha, I am that resurrection. I am both the power behind it, and I am also the resurrection. I am the resurrection itself, and I am the power behind it. Amen? Amen. Now, uh, are we still interested, church? Yes, sir. Amen? Amen. Uh, because I don't want to lose you right here. This is, once you can grab this crucible, everything in your life changes today. Amen. Everything in your life changes today. Amen. Hallelujah. Last night and this morning, the Lord promised me there is going to be healing. Amen. And I know there is healing already in your destiny. Amen. There is healing already in your Amen. destiny. There is healing already in your destiny. Amen. Shout hallelujah to that. Hallelujah. Shout praise the Lord to that. Shout glory to God for that. Glory to God. Shout Lord, I am here for you. Lord, and I will receive everything receive that you will have for me today. I will go home with everything that you will have for me today. And I will be different from today onwards. Because everything around me that is dead will come back to life. Today, 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 Now remember, he says, I want to know him and the power of his resurrection that I may share in his suffering. Okay? Now, I'm not going to go towards that one. Now, he is the resurrection. And he is, he is, yeah, we're coming to that. He is the power behind resurrection. Okay? Now, how do I know? First John, if you can, people of God. First John chapter 3, verse 14. He says, this is how we know. This is how we know. That we have passed, we have passed from death to life. First John 3, 14. This is how we know that we have passed from death to life. Now, when you pass, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you. When you pass from death to life, what is that? You have resurrected. Yeah? When you pass from death, to life, you have been resurrected. Right. Yeah? When you pass from death to life, you have been resurrected. It means you were dead before, 
but now you are now alive. You have been resurrected. And I see your family resurrected. I see your business resurrected. I see your mind resurrected. I see your ministry resurrected. I see your home resurrected. I see your wife resurrected. I see your children resurrected. Shout hallelujah. This is how we know that we have passed from death unto life. Why and how? Because we love. Because we love the brethren. 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 And the Bible says, greater love has no man than this, that a man will lay down his life for his friend. And when, and when God said it, God said this, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Back to John. Now his name is the resurrection. And the power behind resurrection is what? Is love. The power behind resurrection 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 is love. Another name for resurrection is love. Love. Because if Jesus is resurrection and God is love, therefore another name for resurrection is what? Love. love. Mm. Are you following me, church? Yes, sir. Am I going too far? No. Is it too complicated? No. Sir. Huh? no sir. Is it as simple as you can? Yes. Okay. So another name for resurrection is Love. Say with me. Another name for resurrection is love. And I believe it. Now, and he say, I am the resurrection and life. You know, we all know that Jesus is life. Okay? He says, I am the way, the truth, and life. You know that, right? Now, another name for life is what? Love. Another name for life is love. If Jesus is life, the other name is love. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Very clear, right? Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. And it says, he who believes in love, though he may die, he shall live. And whoever lives and believes in love shall never die. Do you believe it? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, what would change a family? What would take a family from obscurity to notoriety is love. Look at that man, your husband. Love him. When you love that man, when you lavish love on that man, if he is losing hope, hope comes back. When you release love on that woman, when you, when you love her beyond her faults, when you love her beyond her, her weaknesses, when you love, you, when you love, when you love, when you love him or you love her, when you love your siblings, when you love them beyond what they did to you, when, when, when you love them beyond the loss they incurred for you, 
when you love, when when love begins to 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 exude and overflow from you in your family, although people may not have known your family, but because you are now that love. Because you are now that resurrection. Because you are now that resurrection. You are now you are now the the the, 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 the carrier of the resurrection power. Your, your father who, who may have been losing steam because he has looked around and it appears. Every, nobody is nobody is succeeding. Nobody is excelling. Nobody is becoming anything. But because God has raised you up, and you are now loving your siblings, you are now loving your mother, you are now loving your father, you are now loving your 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 wife or your husband. Everything about you is love. Amen. That family comes back to life. Shall I hear you, Pastor? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Do you know why? Or do you know what it was that was so shining in the mountain of transfiguration? When Jesus Christ went there, it's nothing else but love. The Bible says that the clothes, his clothes, became whiter than snow. His face became brighter than the sun. It's love. It's uh, amen. amen. A, couple of years, a couple of years ago, my heart was so bitter. My heart was bitter. I was wet, weighed down. By, you know, I don't have, we don't have time to go into it. And it was then that the Lord began to teach me. And on the Easter day, what a day he chose to appear to me or to come to me. Easter, last Easter, on the Easter morning, he came to me about 6 a.m. as I was finishing my prayers. And he said to me, he said, stand up. And I stood up. He said, raise your two hands up. And I, re I raised my two hands up. And I was, you know, in a worship mood. No, he didn't just in a worship mood. And I heard, a, I heard his voice behind me. Thank you, Lord, for the word. For the gospel, for the word of God. He says, You shall hear a voice behind you, right? I had a voice behind me, and he said to me, Love everyone, no matter what they do to you. And he says, Then you will see a turnaround in your life and in your ministry. Shall I hear you, Pastor? Are we together? As I'm bringing this to the, are we together? Yes, now, Jesus said, where, where have you buried him? And they took him as they were going. The Bible says that he, he groaned. He was crying inside. He was crying inside. His heart was bubbling. It was, was quaking with, with tears and crying. He was in pain. He was in sorrow for, for, for man. God was crying for a man. God was crying for a man. And some of us will tell us, I don't cry. Men don't cry. You, 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 you. <laughs> Who told you? And the Bible says, he, 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 he wept. John, that was one of the first scriptures we remember, right? John, John 6, 36. Eh? John, John 11, 36, eh? <laughs> Sorry. Jesus wept. Jesus wept. And when he wept, the Bible says, the people looked at him and said, how he loved him. How he loved him. How he loved him. Don't allow, don't allow situations of life. Don't allow 
the betrayals of friends you love. Don't allow, don't allow the disappointments of people around you. Don't allow, don't allow, don't allow, don't allow situations to make your heart high. Amen. No, don't refuse your heart to be hard.
and Isaac and Isaac and Isaac. It is worth it. Now just lift your right hand up to him and begin to wash him. Begin to wash him. Begin to wash him. Begin to wash him. Ito go para baya. Ito para tita baya. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Ikata ka palaziko no bakanya. Esko praga. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Thank 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 him. Ikata ka tu se. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Now, this is your take home. The Lord just spoke to me now. This is your take home. Amen? This is your take home. Intentionally, intentionally begin to love the unlovable. Those you couldn't stand before. Those who have who have ripped some, some portion of your heart. Intentionally, intentionally, practice this word. Begin to love them. You begin to see that in life, you come to things that have died on your heart. Amen? Amen. Lord, we bless your holy name tonight. We worship you, we adore you. Now, you have spoken to our voices, to our hearts, brother. And we have heard your voice. Now, Lord, we receive grace from you. Somebody begin to pray, say, I receive grace. I receive grace. I receive grace to God. I receive grace to God. I receive grace. We receive grace from you, Father. We receive grace to God. We receive grace to God. We receive grace to God. We receive grace to Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. May your week go excellently well. May favor come to you. May grace come to you. May the Lord fill your hearts with joy and with peace and with blessings in the name of Jesus. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely. God's goodness and mercy are following us all the days of our lives, and we are dwelling in the presence of the Most High God forever and ever. Amen.